Hello my loves and welcome back to day 10 of our month long fitness challenge. I can't believe we are already in the double digits of this challenge. We are back with a leg circuit focusing on your quads and your calves. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna get right into these marches. This is one of the more energizing days of the program. So your heart rate is gonna be up. You're gonna be feeling it. And if anybody's bothering you, tell them you're having drilling time right now, okay? We are in this, we are focused and we are ready for an energizing day. We're ready to get that blood flowing and we're already gonna take it to a wide leg squat here with our toes pointed slightly out and we are going into these squats again with a fast pace, focusing on pushing through those quads and squeezing the top through those glutes. Good. Make sure that you are maintaining tension as you go through this, even though we are going quick and we are dropping quick, don't let gravity do the work. Let your muscles do the work here. We're gonna be here for five, for four, good, for three, for two, and one. We're gonna go ahead and bring it into a parallel squat here, and we are just hopping right into this, okay? No rest for the weary, babes. Just kidding, if you are weary, please rest. You're gonna have your feet just about shoulder width distance, have your toes facing forward. Go ahead and tuck your pelvis in with that strong core. And we are dropping here into some quick squats. Again, pushing through those quads, maintaining a solid core here to protect your lower back, to make sure that you are stable. Good, we are already firing up those legs really quick in here. So this is very similar to day three that we did. We are just gonna up the intensity a little bit here. Good, we're squeezing the top for three. Good, four, two, and last one here. Let's keep this heart rate up with some tap downs here. So you're gonna step out to the side and tap down. So it's just a very quick exercise to get both of those legs engaged here. And as you're tapping down again, think about pressing through those legs and just rising up to the top, finding length, finding strength on both the downward motion and the upward motion. So your legs might already be on fire from those squats. And this is just a moment to really lock that in, really fire everything up here. Good, and we are here for five, for four, for three. Good, really engaging for two, keeping that core tight for one. And we're gonna get directly into some reverse lunges here. We're gonna get to the top of the mat. We're gonna focus on this right leg. So plant your right leg, take your left leg back, and we are lunging here and then pushing through that right leg to bring that left leg up. Option to just tap right next to you as you're going down. You don't have to bring it up, but if you'd like that extra challenge, you are more than welcome. So we're just gonna stay here, pushing through that right leg, really engaging. Try not to put too much weight on this left leg as it's going back. It's really just here to help you tap down and challenge this right leg to make sure you're finding a balanced body. We are balancing those muscles out and finding a challenge individually. So these individual exercises are so good to make sure that you're isolating each leg, each muscle, to give it a chance to grow on its own here. We're gonna be here for three, oh my goodness, Four, two, I'm already feeling it. And one, we're gonna sink your impulse. Four, eight, four, seven, engaging that right leg. Four, six, four, five, pushing through. Four, two, four, one, good. Go ahead and come up, shake that out a little bit here. We're gonna take it into a right side single leg squat. So you're gonna be putting this left leg out. It's very similar to a reformer's style workout, but here if you need to have like a, a towel or a paper plate or something to help your leg go in and out easier, that is absolutely an option. But you're gonna keep it out here. Try not to put too much weight on it because we are squatting down and pulling it up. Good, as you come up, really feel that tension. Really feel like you're zipping your legs together, finding strength through every muscle in that leg, finding stability through that core. This can be a hard one to balance on. Good, you guys are absolutely killing this. This burn comes on so fast. If you need to take a second, shake it out, please be my guest. If you need to talk back to me, I find that talking actually really helps throughout this. It really helps distract me. We're gonna be here for three, good. Pushing up through for two, really taking that slow burn. And one, and we're gonna squeeze the top and then come down for a pulse, for five, for four, for three. Good job, you guys, for two. 
and one. That was absolutely killer. Shake out this right leg as you catch your breath a little bit. Breathe some love in. Congratulate yourself because we have been burning out this right leg. We don't have a lot of weight here to work with, so we're just focused on reps and extending these exercises. So we're gonna take you to a curtsy squat here, taking this left leg to diagonal of our mat and meeting it down into a lunge, engaging this right leg and pushing through as you bring that left leg up, engaging with that core to keep you balanced, to keep that left leg up. Again, always an option to just bring it to the corner of your mat. Take it at your pace, take whatever works for you. What are, wherever your balance is at, wherever your strength is at, wherever your endurance is at, it doesn't matter because you are here and these exercises are built for anyone at any level. I'm just proud of you for starting this video. Again, just proud of you for making the effort to be here. And if you want to try different parts of this exercise at different levels, take whatever serves you and whatever encourages you to keep coming back because the whole point is that you are here day after day. Let's go ahead and be here for three, for two, good. And we're gonna pulse it out here for eight. Drop that left leg down for six, for, oh gosh, for four, really focus on that right leg, for two and one. Go ahead and pull up here, shake it out. Give your leg some much needed love. I will always say, that a quick and effective 20 minute workout every single day is gonna be so much better than being in the gym for hours and hours and then burning yourself out and never going back. This is a daily practice for life. We are almost done with this right leg. We're gonna join it with our left leg now. We get into a lunge here, plant that left leg, take this right leg back and we're finding a deep lunge here with this core engagement. You're not sure not to hit your knee on the ground, don't injure yourself here, but find a deep lunge and bring it up. If that is an option that you would like to take, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, go ahead and tap it. Next to you, you're gonna feel the burn either way. This is going to be so quick and so effective. Either way, no matter what route you take, half the game is mental. Half the game is just getting here, starting the video, and challenging your body with these movements. So no matter what option you are taking, you're gonna get those endorphins, you're gonna get that heart rate up. You're gonna trick your brain into being like, oh, I actually really like this, it's kind of fun. We're gonna go ahead and pulse it back here for eight, for seven, engaging that left quad, for six, for five, for four, pushing through, pushing through, for two, and one, bring it up, you guys, good job. Wow, that is so quick, that burn creeps up, but we're gonna take it into a side squat here. So again, if you need to put like a paper towel, or something to allow your foot to extend out, that is perfectly fine. Just try not to put too much weight on that right leg. Give me a sec. Woo! As we are taking this into a side squat here, again, engaging that core, engaging those glutes, and drop it down, and pull up with tension, with intention, pull up on purpose, pull up against, there you go, pushing into the ground, and good. Sealing in all that beautiful, juicy work that we just did with those lunges. Balancing out your body here. Giving this side the same amount of love you gave the other side if you can. Or if you are dealing with an injury or something, just speak positively to this side. That does wonders to yourself. Just be proud of yourself for even small movements you can do. And we are gonna be pulsing this out for eight, for seven, for six, for the longest, four, three, I think I skipped five, two, and one. Bring it up, good job, you guys. You are more than halfway done here. We're going to bring it into a curtsy squat. Take a moment, fan yourself off. Be so proud of yourself. This is a tough exercise. I know that I'm always sore after this leg day. It is such a quick burn, but in just 20, 30 minutes, however long this ends up being, you're gonna be done, you're gonna be out of here, and you're gonna know that you achieved something incredible today, okay? Go ahead and plant this left foot and take this right one back into the diagonal here, and we are going to be pushing through, and again, drawing that leg up. If that's an option you would like to take, always feel free to come tap right here. Make sure that you are squeezing up fully through the top, finding length through your crown, finding openness in your chest, being so proud of the work that you are doing here today. 
The best thing about exercise and movement is you can't pay for this kind of rush. You can't pay to feel like this. Nobody else can do this movement for you. This is just about you showing up. You're the only one who can experience this for you. So find joy in that today because you are the one pushing through this and you are gonna pulse for eight, for seven, for six, finding strength, for five, for four, all your weight in this left leg, for three, for two, and one. Go ahead and pull up here. Take a walk. Walk it out. Go on a walk and don't come back because we are going into some sumo squats here. So get out while you can. I'm kidding. These are going to be good. We're going to bring our shoulders, our feet just about shoulder width distance apart. Turn those toes out. Engage those glutes. Engage those quads. Core is so tight and strong. And we are lifting those shoulders, rolling it down and back. Ready to drop into some squats here. Continuing that quick pace. We're going to take for two and a one because we are pulsing. See how low you can get here for eight, for seven, squeezing for five. I think I keep forgetting numbers for four, for three, for two, and one. Come up, shake it out one more time. One more muscle group to work, and that is our calves. So you're welcome to stay here and find a calf raise here. Or if you're feeling a little bit insane tonight or this morning or whenever you found yourself at this point in your life, you can take a wide leg squat here again, turn those toes out, squeeze. You can find a hold here and you're gonna pulse up these legs. Either way, we're gonna be here on this side for 10, for nine, eight, good, seven, six. If you're here, find a deeper squat for four, for three, for two, and one and immediately to that left side for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, engaging, pushing through, for six, for five, good job you guys, for four, for three, I'm so freaking proud of you, for two, and one, and go ahead and bring it up, shake it out, give yourself a round of mother freaking applause. That was a really tough workout, that was so quick. That is what we call energizing right there. So let's go ahead and find a quad stretch here. Grab this leg back, just gently pull and giving yourself a moment to let that heart rate slow. Good job, you guys. I hope you're feeling it. I hope your mood is boosted like mine is. I hope you guys are feeling so happy that you showed up today. Go ahead and grab that left quad, sorry, that left foot to stretch that left quad. And you're done. Check this off your freaking list. You can go to your thing and be like, I did it. I showed up for day 10. I made 10 days of a habit for myself. I'm not making another squat. We are just stretching here. Stretching out that inner thigh. Go ahead and take this right arm down, finding a stretch through your spine. Good, exhale. And inhale on the center, exhale as you twist. Good. Finding your hands to the floor if you can, or just as low as you are able. Drop that head and neck, releasing the tension here, stretching through the back of your legs, releasing the tension from all the other days, from that glute day we did, shifting your weight side to side here. Releasing the tension of the day, because no matter what stresses are outside of this, you're still in my freaking class and you're not going anywhere because your brain is going to be peaceful whether you like it or not. Go ahead and bring it into a wide leg little stretch here. Use those elbows to roll those shoulders down and back and press out here with an exhale. Good, we're gonna go ahead and find a runner's lunge on this side. First, let's go ahead and find a little stretch here in triangle and dropping that down and feel that stretch through your quad, feel that here, drop that knee, feel an extra stretch through that hip flexor, through that quad, bring this front leg out to the side and swing this arm back to grab your foot here. There we go, feeling that stretch through. We're just gonna go through these quickly. You're always more than welcome to find more stretches outside of this, but I'm just gonna walk you through a few of my faves as we are straightening this leg and bringing it back, just to feel 
like we are releasing some of the tension. We are taking advantage of those warm muscles, straightening this leg here to find some extra flexibility, to find an extra connection with our body. Go ahead and find a lunge here, keeping that knee straight, stretching through, pressing those hips to the floor, drop that knee and circle back with that arm to grab your foot. There we go, exhale. You guys, this is when it counts, when it gets hard to show up for yourself and you show up anyways, that's when you're really building that muscle. Straighten this leg here, drop that head and neck as you find some length, shifting those hips, finding whatever length you need here. Let's go ahead and bring it forward. Put those feet together, roll those shoulders down and back and lean forward here, finding a stretch through those hips and exhale. Finding the ground in this moment, focusing on nothing but those muscles stretching out. Good, let's go ahead and find a seated position here. Cross your legs, you're more than welcome to lay. Whatever works for you, and I want you to roll those shoulders down and back, exaggerating those movements. Good, as that heart rate slows, as your body is all sweaty, as your mind is coming down from that high. This is a perfect moment to remember where you are, remember who you are, and remember what you want in this life. So, I had you guys think of three things on the first day of this challenge that you are calling into your life, that you were excited for, things that are going to happen for you in 2024. I want you to have those in the forefront of your mind here as we place one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. And we're gonna box breathe here. In for four, three, two, one. Hold, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Hold, three, two, one. Inhale, I want you to find the courage to speak these things that you are thinking of and inhale, sorry, and hold and exhale. Tell someone that you know supports you in your life and hold, speak it into existence and inhale, comment it, tell your friend, tell your dog who's doing this next to you and hold and go ahead and take a few rounds of these breaths on your own, calling these into your life, congratulating yourself for leveling up, for keeping this promise to yourself day after day. And gently open those eyes and exhale one more time with me. Thank you guys so much for joining me on day 10. I will see you tomorrow for day 11. We are cruising through this challenge. You are making January your little thing we can't say on YouTube and I love you so much.